इट्स टाइम टू शूट फॉर द थर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ द वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट टू सेवेंटी एट विच इज फाइंड सब स्ट्रिंग विद गिवन हैश वैल्यू हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग एस एंड अन इंटीजर वैल्यू के वट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट सब स्ट्रिंग हुज हैश हैपन्स टू बी इक्वल टू द गिवन हैश सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर आर मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स इन्वॉल्व द फर्स्ट वन इज द इनपुट स्ट्रिंग एस द नेक्स्ट वन इज द size of the substring that we need to look out for the next one is the expected hash value and power and modulo will be used for computing the hash values over the entire string so uh, i'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it just remember this formula just have a look at it and i'll tell you how to go about the approach by the presentation so let's quickly move on to the ppt find substring with a given hash value 2156 i just kept this background to bring a little humor but jokes apart let's talk about the algo let's assume here the input string that is given to us is a b c d the value of k happens to be 2 that means we are looking for substring of size 2 and what all substrings would be there corresponding to a b c d the first one would be a b the next one would be b c and the third one would be c d If we calculate the hash values for each substring, what that it would be for a b it would be equal to a into p raised to power zero plus b into p raised to power one. And don't forget the modulus operation. You have to perform modulus of m. Similarly for b c it would be p into p p raised to power zero plus c into p raised to power one. Again the modulus operation. And in the last it would be equal to c into p raised to power zero plus d into p raised to power one. So a uh, one way to go about is to identify each substring and iterate over that substring calculate the hash value for generating all substrings the time complexity would be uh, would be equal to order of n square and for iterating over each substring uh, the time complexity would be order of n therefore the total time complexity would be of order of n square which is not that great how can we optimize this we can use sliding window technique we can use the previously computed hash values and using the sliding window or two pointer approach we can generate the next subsequent hashes let's assume the value of k happens to be 3 instead of 2 so that you get a good hold of the concept there will be two corresponding substrings that we want to calculate hash for a b c and b c d so for a b c the hash value would be equal to a into p raised to power 0 plus b p raised to power 1 plus c into p raised to p square and for b c d it would be equal to b into p raised to power 0 plus c into p raised to power 1 plus d into p square so can we utilize the hash that we have computed here to generate the next corresponding hash the answer is yes how let me just talk about it so you make uh, this value to the rhs side what do we get we get hash minus a into p raised to power 0 which is nothing but hash minus a so b into p1 which is p plus c into p square is equal to hash minus a what do we do next we divide both sides by p so both gets divided by p what is the resultant equation it is equal to p plus c p1 equals to hash minus a and on the rhs side both are getting divided by p what do i do next i add d into p square to both the sides so d gets added to both the sides d into p square gets added to both the sides so what is the resultant value this value computes out to be equal to the next possible hash which is for b c d so the formula turns out to be equal to hash minus a the whole gets divided by p plus d into p square and if i want to generalize it how will i do it hash minus old character divided by p plus new character new upcoming character into p Rest bar k minus one because for this k happens to be three, and here the value power is two. Therefore, k minus one. So this formula looks appropriate. You can solve this question in order of n using this formula on the first side. However, don't forget the modulus operation. 
modulus always lead to errors with the division operation so we can't use this division operation with modulus operators because the value gets corrupt in that process we have to replace this division operator by multiplication and how can we maintain the sanity of the algo the way to go is in the reverse direction not from left to right but from right to left how will this help us let me just walk you through it so let's assume the input string that is given to us is a b c d e and the hashes that i have calculated here are stated as shown so let's get started uh, the previously calculated hash value happens to be zero as by default because we have not calculated any value yet and let's start the process what do we see we see e right now so uh, we'll use the previous hash we'll multiply it with p and add e to it so 0 into p plus e gives us e so the hash for this particular index up till here it turns out to be e so hash gets updated to e let's proceed ahead next we let's move in the reverse direction next we see is d so let's update our hash hash gets updated to e into p plus d pretty awesome let's proceed ahead uh, next we see is a c and let's update our hash to e into p plus t whole gets multiplied with p and we'll add c to it so the updated hash turns out to be e p square plus d p d, d into p raised to power 1 plus c which is the first possible hash over a length of 3 as expected this is inequality with our expectation so so far we are good so what do we do in such case we compare it with the ex given hash value if it happens to be equal we store this particular index now comes the interesting part in case it is not now comes the interesting part how are we exploiting the property of sliding window here so again let's proceed ahead what do we do we move one pointer back and we multiply the whole with p so it get it gets multiplied with p and b gets added to it so what is the updated value it is equal to e into p q plus d into p square plus c p plus b so what extra values do you see here you see this is an extra value so what do we do in such case we simply subtract the last pointer which was e into p q the uh, uh, we calculate a pre-computed value with the maximum power p into p raised to power k and we subtract it from the updated hash so this is the updated hash value and you subtract e into p q from it this these two gets cancelled and the updated value is d into p square plus c p plus b which is in sync with our expectation which is the hash for b c d so what have we done we use the same formula the previous hash into p plus the new upcoming character and here you saw that the uh, the substring length got increased to 4 what do we do we take the last character which was e we multiply it with p raised to power k and subtract it from the hash also you reduce the last pointer by one unit so this gets updated to this particular location for the next iteration and again you will follow the same steps you will multiply this with p you will add a to it and subtract d into p raised to power q so again it's pretty simple you multiply the whole thing with p add a to it and subtract d into p q from the updated hash Pretty simple and straightforward. I hope you guys got the context. Now let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude the approach. Here I'm calculating the power k value. So uh, p happens to be equal to k minus 1. And I keep on multiplying power k underscore 1 with the power. And I with every iteration I take a modulus value. And with this I also subtract p minus minus. So here I have taken another variable which will store the position which will give us the result, the starting index of a result substring. I take another variable end which is equal to s.length minus 1 
I've taken another long variable hash that is used for computation of hash values. So what do we do? We start the iteration in the reverse direction. I is acting as a starting point for our string and end is acting as an ending point for us for our string. So we calculate the hash value hash is equal to hash into power. We do a modulus operation here and add s val to it. The current value corresponding to the current ith character and the whole gets a modulus operated value. So hash gets updated to this and in case my end minus start plus one happens to be equal to k that means I have found out one particular instance of substring of length k what do I do I compare it with the hash value like the given hash value over here and I update my index to i along with this I update my hash value because I know the length is gonna exceed the size of k for the next iteration so hash gets updated to hash minus the ending character of my substring into the power that I computed modulus modulus the integer modulus value plus modulus and whole gets again a modulus so this is from uh, the modulus operation and then i go ahead and reduce the pointer end so that the next uh, substring lies within the range of k in the end whatever my index instance hold the integer index i simply create a substring starting from index up till index plus k so let's submit this up accept it the time complexity of this approach is order of n because we are using a rolling hash technique to actually come up with the algo and the space complexity for this approach is constant space we are not using any extra space this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead